So I've got Avriana here. Say hi, Avriana. Hi. So Avriana is my daughter, and uh, we're talking this week about hope. And I thought of a story about Avriana that you don't remember, but it happened. Uh, a few years ago, we were at Alaska Club, and we were swimming in the pool, and all of a sudden, I just didn't see Avriana. I didn't know where you were. But then, out of nowhere, this lady comes jumping into the pool right in front of me, and out of the water, she pulls you, and apparently, unbeknownst to her dad, Avriana, you were drowning. Bummer. Bummer. Uh, I had no idea that she was drowning. Uh, there wasn't a bunch of screaming or yelling or, you know, hands waving above the water. Uh, she was just calmly floating underneath the water, drowning. <laughs> that's kind of weird, isn't it? Uh, but it happens. And apparently that's, uh, if you look up and uh, do some research about how people drown, that tends to be how it is. It's, it's fairly calm and quiet and um, people oftentimes don't even notice that somebody is drowning and we're talking this week about hopelessness and uh, I think hopelessness is kind of like your story Avriana where sometimes people are hopeless and nobody really knows and maybe you would think well man they'd be yelling and screaming and saying help I'm hopeless help I need someone to give me a hand and to encourage me um, but really that's just not how it works most people who feel hopeless nobody really knows they don't really want to talk about it or honestly sometimes people don't realize that they've lost hope so the text that we're talking through this week in Hebrews 10 says, hold on to the confession of our hope. And that idea of holding on, uh, Paul says that because I guess the reality is some people were letting go. Some people, people were letting go of the confession of their hope, which we know ultimately is Jesus. Jesus is our hope. And that's what we celebrate this Christmas season, is that hope has a name and his name is Jesus. And so... Um, that's what we want to celebrate. And we want to let you know, me and Avriana want to let you know that if you're feeling hopeless, uh, would you let someone know? We know that uh, it's hard to talk about. Maybe it's hard to uh, acknowledge and admit when you're feeling a little bit hopeless. You don't want a, uh, a stigma attached to you. Um, maybe you don't want people to be too worried about you. Um, but here's the deal. We love you. And in our church, in a church our size, uh, the statistics would say that there are a few of you we're feeling pretty hopeless. And so me and Avriana just want to say, we love you and you are valued and that Jesus uh, thinks that you are so valuable that he actually died for you. You know that, Avriana? You must be pretty valuable if Jesus would die for you. And we think that about you too. And so um, in all seriousness, if you're feeling hopeless right now, would you send us just an email? You can email office at acfak.org. And just let us know uh, that you're feeling a little bit hopeless. We'd love to pray for you. Uh, we'd just love to be there for you. We'd love to maybe connect you with uh, someone that you can talk to. And just be there for you right now. Um, one of you being hopeless is too many. So we'd like to change that if that's happening. So uh, be encouraged today. Uh, you have a community around you. You have people who uh, value you, whether you know it or not. And ultimately, the one who matters most, Jesus himself, says that you are worth dying for. And so take joy and take heart in that today. So hold on to hope, right? Hold on to hope.